All right, we're going to work it out right now. Brothers and sisters, we're joined together today to believe in the power of metal. Metal Church. So we got this panel fit pretty good, this top piece, so what we need to do now is just uh, trim this kind of ragged edge off and get it kind of uniform, and then we'll make the front panel that wraps around. So, you know, something like this where it's an organic shape and you don't really have anything to scribe off of, I'll just kind of sneak up on it and trim it, you know, a little bit past the center of the radius. So, you know, when the panels meet, this curled panel comes down to a slightly curled front panel, so it's straight, and it's super, super easy to finish. So this is why every old-time sheet metal guy I've ever met always has giant forearms. It's from miles of snipping. Just pretend like I know what I'm doing. Use chipboard to make a pattern for the front panel by tracing over your existing tank or buck. I really don't have any idea how many gas tanks I've made. In the last 10 years, I've probably made 300. I went through my patterns a while ago and there's like 75 patterns that I saved. So, you know, in each of those tanks were probably three or four tanks each. So, do the math. No, we left it. I left it probably a half inch tall because I'm gonna take it and put a little 90 degree break on this lower edge so when we do the tunnel and everything, it'll be a nice radius corner and won't be just metal butted against metal for the bottom corner because that pretty much for gas tanks always fails. Cut the steel off your pattern, then bend one inch of the lower edge to 90 degrees on the brake. I use the Echo Craftformer to shrink the top edge of the front panel so it matches the radius of the piece we had already formed. I start shrinking on the Craftformer and finish it off on the Pullmax. I know some of my tools are rare and hard to find, but you don't need to own this stuff to make it happen. Just do like I did when I started out, but I had nothing, and I just used to borrow all my friends' tools or go to shops that had them and buy everybody pizzas for lunch, or smash the window when they weren't there at midnight. Now this is the exciting part. Once you have the right curve, scribe around your gas tank and trim off that extra edge. The welding process is pretty critical on a gas tank. If it's not clean, and if it has like, you know, any kind of dirt in it, it'll leave, make porosity happen, which will be a air bubble in your weld, which will be a place where the, the gas tank can fail or fracture. And especially on a motorcycle, the tank is usually above the motor. So failing means fire on your crotch. For steel gas tanks, I choose TIG welding, one of the cleanest forms of welding there is. First gas tank I made leaked, it didn't work. The weld wasn't good enough to hold fuel, and so I snuck it into the trash before anybody saw it. Now we gotta let it air cool down so it doesn't shrink or crack or 
do anything funny.